Anyway, this was a life book lesson on um, drawing a male face who is going to be some kind of angelic figure. Um, I started by making a background using layered acrylics and stencils and then I blocked in some gesso in the middle and then drew this face in pencil, graphite pencil um, using a reference photo of an actor Connor McLean, something like that, that's his name so I'm going to now ink it with some some shading grey, I don't know if you can see that shading grey high flow acrylics by Golden which is a nice well it's for shading um, it almost reproduces the same effect as a graphite pencil um, and when you layer it uh, the lines become darker so and it also it has a, a retarder in it of some sort which stops it from drying out quickly so you can play with the layers for quite a while okay so I've got my a little bit of ink or shading grey, golden acrylics, high flows. I'm going to start. I'm using a very fine brush as well, so I'm going to start shading in some of the details. So that I can then remove the I'll add some water to it actually, so it's a little bit more, a little bit less black. I don't want it to be too opaque because you want some of these lines to be quite faint. Try to zoom in a bit so you can see this. Hopefully that's still in focus. Okay, so I'm going to do his eye. I probably won't record the whole of this process because it will take quite long. And if I do, I shall it on fast forward. Now I want this to be even more shady, shaded. Because I don't want it to be darker, much darker than the graphite. I also realise that if I put this ink on over graphite I may not be able to remove it. So I'm actually going to do some shading where the graphite is already. I'm not going to add any new shading because I want this to be an underpainting which when I add layers of paint on top you should be still be able to see it and it will help with the overall painting it'll make it a bit quicker to paint I hopefully won't be able, won't need to add as many layers of dark colored paint on top so yeah I'm going to speed this up soon, but actually if I put the eyebrow in quite dark, just following the lines that I have already. This brush doesn't hold a lot of paint, it's quite a small brush, so it means I have to keep dipping it in. Now this, this portrait 
was made from a reference photo of an actor. I think his name's Connor. I'll edit in some more details afterwards so you can see. He's got an incredibly chiselled face, as you can see. Very, very pronounced cheekbones and the lighting also of the photo enhanced his enhanced that and the reason why I paint um, I used him as a reference photo is because he fans of the books by Cassandra Clare called The Mortal Instruments in, uh, have fan cast him for one of the characters called Sebastian because of his striking features and I've been listening to those books on audio, audible, audio books because I can walk, do my walking, I try to walk for at least an hour a day on my way to work I've been listening to them on audible and they're absolutely brilliant and the books are made into a film which didn't actually do so well apparently at the box office and so the fans of the book cast made sort of a little online fan casting of who they'd like to play certain characters and Connor was chosen wasn't used in the final film but he was chosen by the fans to play Sebastian Morgan Stan or oh, he's actually got a few names his real name is Jonathan Morgan but I won't go into details about that I don't want to spoil it but you should read those books they're absolutely brilliant they're sort of fantasy books sort of young adult fantasy novels I think I've made this too dark but I can lighten it up now his nose he's got a very interesting nose in that he's got really long nostrils I should actually put the picture up whilst I'm shading just so because the draw my drawing isn't accurate and it's not particularly accurate at all you're getting a bit of shine there in the picture it's almost as I want it but I just mess up okay but the nose in particular I didn't I don't think I got it as correctly as in proportion as I'd like so yeah it's too dark but never mind I'll just keep going with the shading. I won't speed it up just yet, I'll keep chatting. I'll tell you how I made it, what I did, why I did it, that sort of thing. So I'm just doing his nostrils now. And I'm not very good at painting or drawing noses. So I've been trying to practice as much as possible. The reason why I'm not very good at noses is because noses are made up of so many different parts. I hope you can hear me. Okay. Ah, da, da, da. Okay. So this is. They've got various names. I, can't, I don't know the names, but this is like. These are obviously the nostrils. I think that's called the bridge. Is that called the hook of the nose or something? Anyway, so. There's usually a bit of shading right here and underneath the nose here. Can you see this? Which I'm trying to add now. And then where the hook of the nose goes into the nostrils, there's some shading as well. And also around the nostrils. I'm going to do this really lightly. Oh, that's not particularly light. And around the bridge of the nose as well. So, I'm just going to block it in like this, it's a bit messy actually. 
I don't normally paint noses like this, but his nose and the lighting used in the painting, in the picture, in the photograph, was very much like this. He, there was a line. Usually there isn't a line, it's more of a gradual blended shadow, but he had a line. So that was interesting. Okay, I'm just going to do his lower eyelid a bit more, shade that a bit more. When you paint eyes, it's always important to put the upper and lower eyelids in, which is this bit here. And that's an eyelash line, and then that's the inner lid, which can be, a, it's very light in colour, can sometimes be a bit pinkish as well. Okay. So this isn't this has been done very, very messily, so apologies. Okay, I'm gonna, going to add this is his temple, it has some shadow here. So I'm just gonna add that in. Hoping my paint doesn't dry in the in here. It's got a retarder in this shading grey, has a retarder in. No, it shouldn't. Okay, and I'm going to start shaping his cheekbone. This is very messily painted, as I said, but it's just a layer which will be covered up. So, I want to get his cheekbones correct. This cheekbone has more of a curve going out than this one does, so I'm going to try to balance it like that. Blend it out a bit. Still, it's a bit too block, a bit too dark. Does it matter? Try to sort that out at the next at the when I add another layer of paint. Okay, also, this has got a bit of an S curve in it, which doesn't have, you can't see as much here. So this sort of goes like an S, and this doesn't as much, so I'm going to try to correct that a bit by bringing this in, and then, can you see, bringing it out again. Like that. So that's a little bit better. A little bit. Add some shading here and along his jawline. He's got a very square jaw. Ooh. You can use your fingers. Most male faces have square jaws. So. So I'm add some shading in here. Okay. I really don't like what I did here. But never mind, it's done. What's done is done. Okay. So I think his chin might be too long. You see that, so I might shorten it. Although he does have quite a long chin, I'll round it slightly, but not a lot because he has quite a chiselled look anyway. You see that, and there is shading under the chin as well, which I was looking at the screen, not, not the painting when I did that. There's a bit of shading here, and underneath he has a line that goes across here. There is always shading underneath the lower lip. His seems to go all the way, almost all the way across. Do his lips now. Not sure how accurately I painted his lips, but 
He's got a sort of lopsided smile going on here. Just that bit here, there is higher. And you might be able to see that his this eyebrow was slightly higher, so he's it's almost a mischievous look that he has, which I tried to replicate. Okay. I'm not sure what how I'll paint over this layer. Whether I'll use, I'll start with a layer of um, water soluble crayon. So I add some shading to the sides. He's got a, he had this was slightly dark on his face. That's there. Okay. Add some shading to the sides of his mouth. I almost wanted to leave this as a graphite drawing because I liked it so much. But it's all practice. Looks like there's a bit of shading here. It's got a downturned corner of his mouth here. Can you see that? I feel I'm completely messing it up. Anyway, I didn't when I drew this, I didn't put the filtrum in, which goes here. Everyone has this. So it's in now. Just get right. So I'm going to do the other side now. I'll try to do it a bit lighter, light, lighter brush strokes. On the other side, which I think I've messed up actually, but never mind. It's all practice. I'm actually holding this painting so it's tilted towards me, so it might look a bit distorted to you. That's with it flat and I, I'm holding it forward. I'm going to do his eye. Now to create his pupils I actually used a guide, a circle guide. This which Jane Davenport, I saw Jane Davenport use to make her pupils and I thought it was brilliant because my pupils are never, let me show you, are never even circles. So this was really good for that. I just got it on Amazon. It was about one pound. You can get it at your local art shop, I'm sure. It's good to use your local art shops if you've got one in your area. A lot have closed down. Mainly because people are buying online now, like I did. But luckily where I live, We've just had a new art shop open. So I try to go there as much as possible to support them. So his eyebrows were very close to his eyes. Usually, they're not that close, but it could have been the angle that the photo was shot at, or he was trying to look particularly mischievous. I'm going to put the pupil in, and the shadow underneath the pupil. All eyes have shadows in them. He had ice blue eyes, 
so that's why they're very clear here where they're not in shadow they're almost, they're almost white in the photograph okay I'm do the shading at the side of his head where his temple is here which will help shape his head You see a bit of a back the background now, which I'm hoping to do a tutorial on at some stage. Maybe today. This is the first tutorial I've made, by the way. The live tutorial, your painting tutorial. Keep getting my hand in the um, in the ink, which isn't good because it will smudge. Anyway, yeah, so I thought I'd make a tutorial. I've been meaning to for some time. And so I just managed to set up my camera with a tripod. It's actually a monopod attached to a shelf above my desk. And I tested a lot of the settings and just sort of figured it all out. I did that this morning. And, uh, I can do tutorials. I'll probably keep the camera up permanently. It's an oldish camera, which I don't use for filming outside. So it can stay here, set up in here, if it doesn't get in the way too much. I'm going to do some of the shading under his eye now. Do his lower. Just did that one. Do his lower eyelid or and lash line, and then shape the other side. Inside that. So it's almost done now. I might do his hair, a little bit of his hair, just as a guide. He has white hair. I'm going to use another brush. I've got this brush, which when I wash them, I then wrap them in washi tape so that those tips, which I can't get on, off. It's not a very good brush at all. I need to get a new one should have another one here. Anyway, so the... Oh, I used to go in the bin. I could. Anyway, so the tips are straight. But I'm using a bigger brush because it will hold more ink. And I can make broader strokes for his hair. Which will eventually be white blonde. I'm not sure if he dyes his hair. He's very, he's very light, very fair. So maybe he doesn't bleach his hair. He had a sort of short back and sides haircut. Which I'll just add the side bits to here. Oh, I've got to do his ears. I'm running out of ink. those in here and detail later okay so I'm just going to add some shading underneath his eye yeah doesn't look like it was on this side but I'll add it a bit a little bit Okay. Anything else? Okay, so there's a bit of shading here and in here. And I think that's it. Probably missed something. But that is it. There you go, inking.
and I have lost some of the detail from the graphite but it's supposed to be a painting so that's going to happen just let it go so next I'm going to erase all of the guidelines I put in and the remaining graphite I may add a little bit more detail after that remove this line here which shows the top of his head before I put the hair in and then he'll be done so thanks for watching and I'll see you later